Good morning, guys. Welcome to another tutorial from the Tableau Tunnel series. I'm Nanad, and uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, so today, I'm trying something for the very first time. I'm doing a video-based tutorial, which I'm hoping will be a little bit more easier for you guys to follow as compared to the text tutorials uh, on Medium, to which the response has been truly amazing. I mean, uh, I can't say this enough. And I, I'm really thankful to you guys for uh, for all the support you've shown to me in regards to that. And yeah, I'm really I'm really glad to see that a lot of you have found them useful in terms of taking uh, your own personal first steps into the world of uh, sports analytics. And so yeah, without uh, without your support, really, I I wouldn't have the motivation to continue to do these. So. Yeah, it's, it's been it's been fun and I hope to continue to do this for, for the foreseeable future. So yeah, today uh, we are doing lollipop graphs. Uh, so the main reason I'm doing these today is to introduce you to guys to um, introduce you guys to a very key concept which you will use in uh, future tutorials, which is to convert uh, one uh, or say two graphs into one using dual axis. So yeah, the, here you can see there are really two types of visualizations that you can see. There's a bar graph and there are circles as well. So you will learn how I've done this today. And um, yeah, without any further ado, uh, let's get started. Before I do get started, I just want to give uh, a quick shout out to my very dear friend Abhishek, who has very kindly helped me with the resources required to create this tutorial. Abhishek uh, is a, a great friend and uh, a very wonderful guy to learn from. So today he released uh, a tutorial uh, on the Friends of Tracking channel, uh, which you can find on YouTube. Uh, so he introduced how to make pass flow maps. Uh, yeah, you can see here, he's explained how to do them on Tableau. And he also has them on R, which is on the, uh, the part one of this tutorial. So definitely check him out and follow him on Twitter at Mishra Abhi A. So thanks again, Abhishek, for the help you've given me with this. And yeah, now without any further ado again, let's uh, let's get started with lollipop graphs. So I'm just going to start from scratch so that it's easier for you guys to follow through. OK, so let's uh, have a new sheet ready. And yeah, so today the data set that I'm using is uh, the top five European leagues dribbling data set that uh, the same one that I used yesterday for the uh, for the request line that I put out, for which uh, the response was again incredible. And <laughs> to be honest, I was very tired, but yeah, it was it was fulfilling to see that a lot of people liked it. Um, you know, so that was that was really good to see. All right, so the very first thing I'm going to do is create a very simple bar chart, so that you guys already know. So I'm just going to quickly speed through this. You know, first refiltering for. The amount of matches played, then yeah, dropping the uh, carries into the penalty area here, using the player split one, which is the transform, uh, which transform the main from the main uh, player field. So I've split that here into three parts, and you've converted that into three splits. And yeah, now I've, yeah, and you're swapping the rows and columns here, and then I'm just gonna. Use the descending order, and you can see Jack Grealish, unsurprisingly, is on top. Okay, and so yeah, this is your basic bar graph. And yeah, what I'm gonna do is just give it a gradient here. And I'm gonna, yeah, uh, I'm gonna filter here for the top uh, top 10 um, across Europe. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here is just quickly use show filter here so that I can use, use this to filter for the top 10. Uh, players according to carries into the penalty area. And I believe the 10th one was Jaden Sancho with 43. So I'm going to stop there and try. Yeah, okay. So now you see the gradient is a bit more evident. And yeah, you can just click this on entire view. And yeah, so this is your uh, essentially your basic bar graph with a nice little gradient here. You have the players, um, Jack Grealish, Mbappe, Sterling, Pedro Neto, uh, the usual suspects. And yeah, so I'm just going to clean this up a little bit so that I don't have to do this later on. I'm going to go to sheet. I'm going to go to grid lines. I'm going to clear them out. 
I'm going to clear out the zero lines, the access rulers, the access sticks, and yeah, you can change the font here, guys. So I assume the uh, regular, the default setting on your Tableau is, uh, well, the Tableau font. But you can change that to anything you like. And um, yeah, I've, I've, used the, I've used the Futura MDBT font for this one. So you can do that as well, or you know, any font that really catches your eye. And so yeah, this is one thing I've done. And then change the alignment here, guys. So I mean, just looks, it looks better. So this is the header part and this is the pane part, okay? So I'm just gonna change the header to left aligned so that it looks a little bit nicer. Just gonna create a little bit more separation here, okay? So that's all good. Uh, and we have our basic bar graph. I'm gonna change the title here. Uh, ranking carries into the current area across the top five leagues, right? Uh, so this is uh, this is one thing, and yeah, I hope you guys have been able to follow uh, so far. And I'm just gonna give you a quick few seconds to uh, get to here. And if you have any trouble uh, following through with any of the steps, you can just sort of rewind and check as to what I've done. Okay. Right, okay, I hope that you've had the opportunity to rewind and follow through if you've had any confusions. So I'm just gonna, uh, next thing I'm gonna do is just to hide these cards so that they are not a trouble later on for me when I import them onto the dashboard. So the next thing that we're going to do is to duplicate this, right? So we're gonna drag carries into the pennant area again. I'm gonna create a similar bar graph here. But what we are going to do here, right, is to change the type of the graph here. So you can see here the marks section has split itself into three parts, right? So there's the all, there's CPA, and then there's CPA two, right? So what this basically denotes is uh, how for you to be able to manipulate each of the graphs on the worksheet, right? CPA is to do with this first graph here, and CPA two is the second graph here, okay? So what we are, trying to do here is to generate circle graphs, right? So I'm just gonna change this from automatic to circle. So you can see here we have the nice graphs here. Just gonna remove the gradient for them because we need to change them to a different color later on, right? So what I'm gonna do next is to merge these two, right? So what we're trying to do is get this, okay? So yeah, uh, let's do this here. What we're gonna do is to right click here and you click on dual axis. Okay, so now what this will do is to uh, basically merge the two. Okay, not in the perfect way, but yeah. Uh, now Tableau has merged the two and both of them have become circle graphs, which is not what we want. What we do want is to have one bar graph merged with the circle graph, right? So what I'm gonna do is go to the marks section of the first graph, which is probably one of the two here, right? And I'm gonna go from automatic to bar, right? And so you can see here we have some semblance of what we are trying to achieve in terms of the lollipop graph, but it's not perfect. So let's change around the sizes a little bit and then we can get there. So I'm gonna reduce the bar graph significantly which because yeah, that's what we're trying to do. And then I'm gonna increase the size of the circles so that there is sufficient space for you guys to interact with it later as well. And another key thing to do here, guys, is to just to make sure that there are no final, there are no gaps and lapses in the visualization that you're making, is to synchronize the two graphs, okay? So that they represent the same values. So you can see there's, there's this little space here. And you, if like me, you have an OCD for the final details, uh, you will change this, or at least want to change it, right? So what I'm gonna do here is just to right click on one of the graph, uh, one of the axes here. So you can do this one or this one. And there's something called synchronize axis here, right? I'm gonna click that and you can see now that little bit of extra bar graph is gone, right? And so now because you already have the title here, there's really no need for these headers, right? Because they're a little bit of a distraction. So let's get rid of those. I'm just gonna click here, show header. 
just gonna yeah deselect show header here right so yeah this is i think this is uh, this is essentially the lollipop graph anything you do beyond this is really aesthetic and really up to you so what i would recommend that you you know finish it up nicely and give it a little bit of a polishing so what i'm going to do here is to format the lines out of this the grid lines and i'm going to remove uh, the grand total the row dividers and the column dividers as well because yeah they the i just i just like the uh, my visualizations clean you may like them differently of course and you can cho choose to keep them on and yeah so now uh, these graphs look a little bit empty right so let's add a, uh, a label of the values of these carries right so what i'm going to do here is to just pull up the circles which is the graph 2 and i'm going to drag carries into the penalty down to label All right so you can you can keep this uh, just as it is or what you can do is try to push push these labels into the circles or rather into the center of these circles right so what you how you can do that is very simple just go to label and you see the alignment here is automatic which means it's just outside the circles so you change it from right alignment to center alignment okay and you do this automatic okay and just change the circle size a little bit so that yeah there's better space for the uh, for the numbers to be highlighted then what we're going to do is change the colors a little bit i'm going to uh, drop colors i'm going to drop the team names onto color which is squad here. So there's a warning that Tableau is giving you because there's a lot of squads in our data set. So what we're just going to say is, you know what, add all members. We want to do that. And yeah, now you can see the text has changed a little bit and the colors look nicer as well. So yeah, um, this looks just a little bit neater, I think. And I hope you guys will agree with me. Right. So another thing we can do is to, in order to highlight these circles better, what we can do is to change the opacity okay you can change the opacity of the circles as well but what we are trying to do here is try to change the opacity of the bar graphs so what i will do is to go to the first type of box which is the bar mark and i'm going to change the opacity from here i'm going to drop it down to let's see uh, just enough for the gradient to be evident but uh, yeah i think this is a good place to stop uh, yeah 75 percent opacity you can even add a border if you like but that's not really uh, not, not really important. Okay, so you can see here the, the, the teams and the colors. So we have Jack Grealish, we have Timo Werner, we have Cristiano Ronaldo, we have Ryan Sterling, and so forth. We have the uh, the 10 players, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, this is the top 11 players for ranking, you know, carries into the planet area across the top 5 leagues. And yeah, I think I think you're just about done with the with the visualization as such so next thing to do is to create your dashboard very simple um, just to change the range here from custom to fixed size and you can change it to any uh, any dimensions that you like uh, you can let, let's try column here and see how that looks so yeah i can change the style and yeah i think this I think this looks okay okay the yeah sancho's uh, name is not really evident here, so I'm going to change that a little bit. This is too much. Yeah, okay, desktop browser. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, so yeah, this is essentially your lollipop graphs. So as you can see, we've uh, created the bar graphs and we've created circle graphs as well. We've managed to combine them together and managed to add this nice little circles here at the end of the bar graphs to show their values a little bit better. Right, and you also have the labels for the carries into the penalty area per you know, overall, and you have the colors denoting the squads, right? And the gradient here again represents the values in terms of the uh, increasing order of values. So from Jaden Sancho 43 to Jack Grealish 75. Um, yeah, the rest of the thing is to just add your Twitter handle and to add the images. So I've had a few people DM me regarding troubles in, in terms of inserting the images. So not to worry, I'm just going to show that to you here as well. So you can, what you can do here is to use objects in a tiled format or in a floating order, right? So I'm just going to click on floating 
and I'm going to double click on image here. Okay, I'm going to choose the image and I already have a few logos in my system. So I'm going to uh, select one of those. This data is from StatsBomb and is from FVREF. So make sure that you are crediting them because if you don't, I will hunt you down and I will <laughs> bag me. I'm just kidding, not at all. Uh, but yeah, it's important for you guys to do that because uh, they're doing some amazing work and yeah, uh, they need all of our support in terms of them being able to create, you know, continue to keep this project going, which is only a blessing to the FT community, right? So yeah, you have the logos here, you have the squad colors here. You can remove this if you wish to. I'm just gonna, just gonna keep this on so that it tells you what the colors are for. And then yeah, um, just a little bit of self uh, advertising here. I'm gonna add my own uh, Twitter handle. And I'm just gonna drop this anywhere you like. Yeah, I'm gonna put this here. And yeah, guys, we're done with this. So the easiest thing to do in terms of posting this is to just click on presentation mode here, and then just just uh, open your snipping tool or whichever tool you use to take screenshots. On Windows, it's easier to do it because you have the snipping tool. But on iOS, I'm not quite sure. So I'm sure you guys can figure that out. But yeah, this is uh, these are the lollipop graphs using the dual access method. Um, I hope this tutorial has been useful for you to follow and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any troubles and uh, if you've liked them, uh, just let me know. Uh, uh, that would be, that'd be really nice for me to know as well. And yeah, uh, keep, uh, stay, you know, stay tuned for the, the next uh, tutorial that might come out after this, which is the XG trend lines tutorial where we will be looking at assessing XG trends over large periods of time for players and teams. So yeah, uh, once again, thanks, you, uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day. Take care.